this window will appear when you click on the new site. Now I'm going to name this site my website. I'm going to hit next. And it's going to ask you do you want to work with the server technology such as Cold Fusion, ASP, uh, ASP.NET, ASP, JSP, or PHP. So I'm going to say it. No, I don't want to use the server technology. If you say yes, it's going to ask you which one you want to use. So we're going to work on HTML. So just select no. I'm going to hit next. Now it's going to ask you where do you store your files? Where, do you, where on your computer do you want to store your files? I'm going to go to my desktop my website HTML I'm gonna select now I'm gonna hit next it's gonna ask how do you connect your remote server because uh, right now we don't have any FTP account so I'm gonna say none next I'm gonna say done now, as you see the components the folders in our website folder are in Adobe Dreamweaver also if you just see there three folders so I'm going to create a new HTML document. And I'm going to, first of all, I'm going to name this document the site tutorial. And you can put it like this. So, here now I'm going to go to the page properties by uh, right click on the workspace and I'm going to go to the page properties. There, I'm going to select a background image, it's in the images folder background. Okay, now I'm going to say repeat X. And I'm gonna apply this and I'm gonna hit OK. And there you see uh, the cool see, background has been created for us because there was a single strip that created a background for us. So, okay, we're gonna save this document, Control S. We're gonna save it in HTML folder and I'm gonna name this index.html. So, you see now. We're going to create one diff tag in this and we're going to name this tag header and ID is going to be header and I'm going to hit OK and you see I come up with, the, with this uh, text content for class header so here I'm going to create if you don't have this panel just click CSS over there so now I'm going to create a, a new CSS rule by clicking this box icon and it is going to say select your type uh, it's the selected the advanced ID PSCDU whatever it is because it's set to default so uh, select your name is header just don't change it and it's, it says define in this document only I'm going to select new CSS style sheet I'm gonna when I hit OK it's gonna ask me where do you want to store your uh, CSS style sheet I'm gonna locate my CSS folder and I'm gonna name this uh, the CSS dot CS dot CSS I'm gonna save it now it's gonna ask uh, you want to put it uh, the settings of our div tag so First of all, I'm going to go to the background and I'm going to set the background to. It's going to ask for the header uh, because we are working on the header. If you can see CSS rule definition for header in the CSS dot CSS. Now, if you want to change the background color of your header, you can. Now, I'm going to open Adobe Bridge to. If you just come to the box, it's going to ask what is the width of your. Um, header if you just click apply you see I cannot see the full header so I want the full header I'm gonna open it to be bridge just to see my document set and in this if I just click this it says 920 by 200 and I'm go and I'm gonna go to it be dream viewer and I'm gonna just say 920 by 200 and I'm gonna say apply if you see I come up with my header now in the margin line I'm gonna just remove the stick from same for all and I'm gonna uh, in the right menu I'm gonna select auto in the left auto now I'm gonna click apply okay so what I'm gonna do is center my header and uh, if you just click apply if you see it's gonna um, uh, center my header and you can name it whatever not. I'm just gonna remove this so this is what we want now I want to preview in the browser I'm gonna press F12 
it's going to say uh, save changes to the index because if you uh, if you can see there's a star on it that means we haven't saved our document yes then it's going to ask some files needed to accurately preview this uh, this page have been modified but not saved save them now uh, he, uh, Adobe Dreamweaver is talking about our CSS file because uh, because our CSS file has uh, we haven't saved that so I'm gonna click yes and save that now I'm gonna preview in my browser so if you just see over there our title and our header is up there it which is centered if you just uh, remove this div tag and remove the CSS rule you're gonna see your header over there so uh, this is pretty much you want from div tags now we're gonna create a new div tag and here we're going to say this button base so again button base you can create one single strip or what you say rectangle for your button base uh, but I'll not do that okay here in the insert it is written at insertion point say after tag and there's only one tag we have created right now which is header now I'm gonna hit OK now I'm gonna create a new CSS rule or we're gonna create new CSS rule I'm gonna hit, I'm gonna hit OK again and there you go and because if you're using your button base you have to ch uh, change your background and your box settings okay we're gonna put it in the center auto Auto we're gonna apply and okay so now I'm gonna go insert image objects rollover image the first image is gonna be this gray and the second is gonna be the red one okay an alternate text say go to our home page and I'm gonna hit okay and you see over there uh, but the size is uh, quite big. We're gonna reduce the size. Sorry, so like this. I'm gonna put it 136 by 35. I guess pretty good. No, that is pretty much small. So let's just change this to 90. Enter. And, and I'm gonna say copy paste 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 and now let's just remove the first one the last one and select the rest of them and just click this icon to put them in the center okay so let's preview in the browser F12 yes yes so if you just look at there, our rollover, rollover buttons has been created. Uh, you can give it a link if you want. But if you select this, give it a link. Link is sent is set to hash because it has a function. Because if it doesn't have the link, it, the button is not gonna move or change the color. So let's say mail to. Uh, vv comp chimp vv at hotmail dot com and let's go back and remove this hash because we have already given we have um we gave this a link and rest of these let's okay so after that we're gonna create oh we're gonna open it up for our shop or if you don't want you can or if you don't want so just don't open so I'm gonna open it before the shop